back in 1973 when the Arab oil embargo forced us to take a very hard look at the energy we use, everyone was talking about alternative energy. Well, 13 years later, there is a couple near Sandpoint, Idaho, that has done a lot more than just talk about alternative energy. John Yeager and photographer Kurt Austin met up with them and filed this story. Here's tonight's edition of Positively Northwest. On a remote hilltop west of the Cabinet Mountains in northern Idaho, the Willie household has what every modern household has. A microwave oven to warm up pastry, a vacuum cleaner to clean the floor. There's plenty of light to work with the computer and plenty of power to work with the drill. Yes, this household has what every modern household has, except a utility bill. Hello, this is Steve. Yeah, well, we, uh, you're living in a situation where you don't have power now. And that makes Steve Willie happy. He runs Backwoods Cabin Electric Systems, doing energy consulting and systems manufacturing. There are a number of examples in our catalog that'll get a good ballpark estimation for you. So uh, if I could send that out to you, I think that'd get you started. The photocopy paper reads, solar electricity for the remote site home. But alternative energy, like solar and wind power, are more than just words on a piece of photocopy paper for Steve and Elizabeth Willie. They are, quite simply, how they power their home a home which also serves as the office for Backwoods Cabin Electric. This has given me something that I can do that I feel is worthwhile and help other people to gain an entry into generating their own power by the same clean methods. <laughs> Primarily, we don't use any electricity for anything that does major heating, whether it's heating the house or hot water or cooking. That's all done with propane gas, some uh, solar through these windows and the wood heat stove. And that knocks off 80% of the consumption of any house. He says the home, which relies primarily on solar and wind power, uses about 5 to 10% of the power the average home does. It can be perfectly comfortable on far less power. Only a handful of people nationwide do what Steve does, working with systems manufacturing and consulting. But he's been working with electronics since he was six years old, generating his own kind of power the kind from the mind. An idea, after all, is what really saves energy. One thing I improvised for myself, I said heating draws a lot of power. I wanted to create a hair dryer, so we made one that gains its heat from being placed on the burner of a stove and blows air through and dries your hair just as well, but for a fraction of the power. Before owning his own business, Steve says he worked for the phone company, cable television, and even as a radio disc jockey. But for the last five years, more or less, this has been a full-time job, and it's made him happy. On up. As the sun smiles down and the wind tickles the leaves on the hilltop trees, he's a busy man, hard at work, but... A person is happy if he cannot tell the difference between work and play. And Steve Willie can't. John Yeager, KXOI News for Positively Northwest. What a beautiful place to call home. Well, when we come back, we will tell you about a movie made here in...